All right, guys, we got another project here. <laughs> I don't know why I do this stuff to myself, but um, I found a entertainment center on Marketplace, and I looked at it, and I'm like, man, that thing looks pretty cool. That would look, that thing would look great with some Ataris in it and some other old consoles like this. And I did some measuring, and I think it's going to fit in here good. So my plan is, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'm going to keep this big shelf of games here but it's actually going to move over there and you'll see why in a minute um and then i'm gonna take out this cart even though i really do love this cart but the problem with it is it it really only stores the tv and two consoles and a little storage underneath that's i don't know i'm just kind of outgrown it i guess i'm gonna hold on to it though just for who knows might need it down the road and then I'm going to remove this shelf, which has the systems on it. Which, this has worked out well, but there's a couple little minor things that I don't like. Um, for one, the ColecoVision <laughs> doesn't really fit on it too well. And the cords, you have to like run in front of it because there's no holes. And I didn't want to drill holes in it. And I don't know. And we're just not taking full advantage of the height of this little cl closet space, which is what this is. Um... If you haven't seen the, my other Atari collection video, I definitely recommend watching that. So I got it. It's in my garage right now, and I'll show you in a minute. But I think it's going to look really cool. So let's go take a look at it. All right, so here's the cabinet. Um, don't mind my dog in the background, but <laughs> um, we got it here. It was pretty heavy, but it's here now, and it's in pretty decent shape. We have a little casualty down here in the... Bottom corner, got a little, little dinged up, but that's okay. We'll never really see that. Um, so this is pretty cool. I really thought, I liked the glass here. It had the little lines in it. I don't know exactly, I don't know exactly what that's called, but um, just kind of gave it like a nice little 80s look. I don't know. I just I was picturing it, and there's the shelves there. There's like five shelves or whatever. I don't know. I just thought it would look really sweet with all the systems right here lined up. And underneath and had the my tv in there and i'll actually have some room on top which is going to be cool um and the spot down here is bigger so i'm thinking having like maybe the 5200 and like ColecoVision, like some of the bigger systems maybe down there and i might even be able to add a system to my setup because i'm going to have some extra shelves so i was thinking maybe the odyssey 2 would be nice to actually have, have um hooked up so i'm going to clean it up right now and I'm gonna have to bring this up a flight of stairs, so I'm debating of whether I should take it apart or just leave it as it is. I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is. But anyway, I'm gonna clean it up, and I'm excited. I'm probably gonna, I don't know, I'll put them in some kind of order here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do in terms of the consoles, but I don't know, we'll see. I just think this is gonna look really cool up there, and I'm pretty, pretty stoked about it. So yeah, let's see see how this goes all right i'd say we're about the halfway point of moving stuff so we got the coleco games i think i might have to take all these down i'm not sure um so those shelves i still have to move over to the right side and i didn't explain why i was doing that it's because um i wanted to have the tv to still be centered in the in here so since the shelves on the entertainment center are on the left then these got to go to the right so we have those shelves on the left to make up for it so this will be taken down. You can see the TV's moved. And then here's kind of the... I got the doors off the entertainment center. We got some... All the systems and games and stuff. They're all getting moved around. So let's keep going. And maybe we'll have it done soon. Who knows? <laughs> let's keep moving. All right. We got it cleared out. It's time to start setting some stuff up. All right, guys, we got it in here. As you can see, I moved those shelves over and it fits perfect. So now it's time to put some shelves in and some consoles and I'm pretty much just gonna update you once it's all set up. Maybe a day from now, a few days from now, but we'll see how it goes. And I am so far, I'm loving how it looks and super excited. Let's see how it looks. All right, guys, it's pretty much done. So here's the setup here. If you hear some noise in the background, it's cause it's raining outside. Um, I think it looks really good. I really like how it looks and 
we definitely, I feel, gained some storage out of it, and we were able, like I was hoping, to get the Odyssey 2 hooked up. So that's fantastic. So I kind of just want to do a quick overview of, I guess, how it's set up now. Um, so up here, it's kind of like a lot of Intellivision stuff. So all these box games, these are not all my boxes, I just didn't have room to put them all. There's the loose carts, just kind of lined up on the top. They continue into ColecoVision, which I kind of had to split up, which I'm not crazy about, but maybe, maybe I'll change it, I don't know. But for now, that's how it looks. And then this whole wooden shelf is all 2600 games, this big shelf. And then my 5200 collection is right here. So it's all pretty compact and a nice little area. Up top, I have a lot of boxes that I need to try to put somewhere, but it's okay. Got the same TV. Um, as I mentioned before, got the Odyssey 2 and all of its games. If I want to play, I can just slide these trays out and all the games are there. And then down here, Kind of these cool little <laughs> glass doors with the lines on it, very 80s kind of look here. Um, got the Intellivision, which is nice because on, I used to have it on one of those kind of shelves, and it was hard to get the games in, and you couldn't use the Intellivoice at all, so it's kind of nice. I like, I like that a lot more here. And I was thinking about the order um, of how I was going to lay these out, and I was thinking... That then television would be smart just because to put here just because how short the cables are so i kind of i was gonna go like by system like 2600 5200 7800 like over there but i figured i'm just gonna do it in terms of practicality so here's the 2600 and the 7800 which i know i don't need to have both hooked up but to me it just feels wrong playing the 2600 games on the 7800 so i still leave the original hooked up and I do have nicer condition ones in my collection, but I don't like to use mint ones. And then up here, some trackballs, extra controllers. I don't want to go too into details, more just about the process here. 5200 trackball, the 600 XL, ColecoVision, and the 5200 is down there. And if you're wondering why I have these extension leads, I think there's one right there. This one right here that connects to the 2600 is because I got a super combo joystick. If you guys want me to do a video on this, I can. It's fantastic. So that'll easily, having those cables like that easily allows me to just plug it into whatever console I want to use. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm really stoked about this. I think it looks a lot better. And I think it will give me... As I was saying, I think it would give me some more space. Uh, my phone ran out of storage there, but... Anyway, that's about it. I just wanted to wrap it up here, and thanks so much for 500 subscribers, guys, and stay tuned for some more retro content. All right, and I'll see you in the next one.